Good evening. My name is Brian McCray, and at this time I'll be doing my Alabama Virtual Library Demonstration Assignment. All right, the first thing that I'll do uh, with me being a resident of Alabama, I can get to this website by directly putting in the website, or I can also Google this website, and it'll also give me access to the website. Once I have, once I have access to the website, um, in order to teach my students a little bit and get them familiar with the website, I have them go to student resources. I'm currently a elementary physical education teacher. So we're going to click on elementary school level. From there, I notice that there's many different um, topics that I can click on. Um, I think the topic that we'll focus on today is going to be on animals. One topic that I've noticed that most elementary kids are really interested, <clears throat> really interested in is the animal kingdom. So we'll click on it. Once inside of the animal kingdom, we'll notice that we can explore many different animals by using two different categories. Uh, we can explore animals by their group, or we can click on habitat and then explore them. Um, based on the different habitats that, that they live in. Um, also, you can have your students to scroll down. You can search many different animals based on um, from letters A to Z. Uh, for instance, if we click on we'll click on L, you'll notice that it pops up several different animals. Just start with the letter L, Labrador Retriever, Ladybug, Leopardback Turtle. So again, it gives us many different animals um, that start with the letter L. Um, I think at this time, we'll probably focus on exploring animals by group. Um, we'll explore birds. Once you click on birds, You'll notice that you can explore many different types of birds. You can focus on birds of prey, flightless birds, songbirds, water birds, and also many other types of birds. And once you've chosen, we're going to um, go with birds of prey. You can scroll down and pick on a particular bird of prey. I think at this time we're going to focus on a uh, national bird, which is the bald eagle. Once your students have chosen a bird, they're going to be given an article. Now this is um, something that I find very interesting. Um, most elementary schools are K through four or K through five. Um, the current school that I'm working at is K through four. So with my older kids, I'll probably have them actually read the articles and once they read the articles they can go down and click on different subtopics um, here's an introduction you can also see where it says where bald eagles live their physical features their behaviors bald eagles and humans alright so we can click on those different subtopics and the students can actually read about it that's something that I will have my older students to do and with the younger students, something that I find interesting was Introduction. that it actually The bald eagle them. is the national bird of the United States. Its white head feathers stand out against its dark brown body. The bright white head gives the eagle its bald look. And you can stop it at any point. Uh, we'll click on where the bald eagle lives. Where bald eagles live. Bald eagles are the only eagles that live just in North America. They are commonly found near rivers and large lakes. So again, this is something that gives the older students uh, opportunity to learn and also your younger students are that are in kindergarten or first grade that may not actually be up to be able to read. They can still click on the play button and still find out some interesting facts about the bald eagle. Um, you can also look over here to also give us gives us other fun facts about the bald eagle with the did you know section. Um, it states that 
Baby ball eagles are brown in color. The head feathers turn white after four or five years. So again, there's another area of some fun facts that the students may be interested in. And again, this is something that I think will be very useful for librarians, um, media specialists, classroom teachers, doing a science unit, or I even think it'll be interesting if it's used um, in the physical education classroom if you have access to technology in your gene. If you plan an activity that involves many different animals, um, you can actually use this as a resource to give a few fun facts about the animals that you're going on or going over doing the activity. So at this time I will conclude my virtual my Alabama virtual library demonstration recording. Thank you.